what I'm doing is I'm putting a piece of cod into the dish and lining up some great, great big sea scallops right, right, right along the edge there. And I've got a little bit of sour cream here that I'm going to just rub onto the scallops and onto the, uh, to the cod. A little bit of salt and pepper. I like to use kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper. And then I'm going to top it with Parmesan cheese. Now the sour cream will add some moisture to the Parmesan cheese and it'll also ha help it stick to the, to the uh, fish. You can do this with chicken if you wanted to, you can, anything. But it's, we found that it's really great with the, um, with the seafood. So this is, that's all there is to, do, to cooking this dish. I'm going to put this into the oven that I've preset at 425 to 450 degrees. It depends on your oven. And it's going to go in there and we're going to caramelize the top of this. Leave it in there long enough to caramelize the, top, the, the Parmesan cheese. Probably about 20, 15 to 20 minutes depending on your oven. So I'm going to put this in the oven. And while that's in there, we're going to go ahead and prepare some vegetables to go with that when it comes out. I've got some beautiful broccolini here. Uh, great time of the year for broccolini. It's starting to come through fresh from the farm. Um, and the broccolini is, that's it, it's real simple. I've cut the, the bottom of the stems off, but it's a broccoli. It's actually broccoli and kale combination, I believe, um, uh, crossed. And you, you eat the whole stem, you eat everything. So I'm going to drop this right into boiling water for just a few seconds. And I'm going to blanch that off. While that's going, while that's blanching off, I'm just going to heat up a little bit of oil. About 10 minutes before the fish is ready, you're going to blanch off your broccolini. A little bit of oil, you can add garlic if you want. I'm not going to do that with the, with, the, uh, with the Parmesan and fish. A little bit of salt and pepper in there. It's hot. This is already blanched. I don't like to overcook broccoli. Nice and vibrant colors. And that little bit of steam that's coming out of here that carries over in the water in the broccoli will just steam off in the pan and finish cooking it. So you do that about, like I said, about five minutes before it's done and you get it ready and you can just set that off and that's, that's literally done. If you wanted to add a little bit of butter um, garlic, salt, whatever, whatever it is that you want to, but this is, I just like it, just nice and simple. All right, and we'll put this on a plate here. I'm going to try and arrange that broccoli, broccolini, so that you've got some nice fluffy ends on the outside and the stems are kind of going to the middle. This will make a nice presentation. Now that fish should be ready and I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And what I've got is a, a beautiful dish here. You've got a little bit of water that runs off and comes out of the fish. That's totally normal. So just be careful because it's going to be hot. I'm going to take that out with a spatula, all one piece. I'm going to set that right across the broccolini if we want to. Add a little bit of lemon wedge to that. And it's that simple. You've served a great dish that will satisfy anybody, and you've done it very simply at home using Red's Best Fish. Following my recipes, you can't go wrong.